Willie D. Live. What's up, family? Ever since Diddy was arrested last week by the FBI for just about every crime you can think of, there have been video after video after video of Diddy telling on himself. Yeah, fam, I'm talking about you can't even unhear some of the stuff now. Everything that you hear, you hear with a suspicious ear now, like everything. Him just saying, yeah, me and my boy left the party together. You like, <laughs> or went to the party together. You like, man. There's also been a plethora of videos released by people who may have known Diddy in some shape, form, or fashion. Insert Ashton Kutcher. Ashton got a story to tell, but he won't tell it. He said, yeah, man, he was about to tell it. He was on this podcast called Hot Ones. You know, where they eat the, the food. I think it's chicken with hot wings with a bunch of hot sauce on it. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, this dude was talking about, you know, Diddy and his friendship because they go way, way, way back. I'm talking about way back. So, you know, he's been to the parties. He's been to the parties. And word is, the FBI has video evidence to substantiate that. So Ashton, like many others right now, are trying to distance themselves from the Ashton ain't talking right now. And a lot of other people are not talking Right now, everybody is running for their lives, trying to distance themselves. Isn't that strange, fam, how that works? It reminds me of this song that Michael Jackson used to have. I don't know if it was Michael Jackson's song. I think it was a Jackson 5 song. Everybody loves a star when he's on the top. Remember that? But nobody ever comes around when he starts to drop. I can relate to that, fam, because the music industry is a roller coaster. It is a roller coaster of peaks and valleys. And if you don't know who you are, if you ain't got your mind right, if you're not standing on a solid foundation, when you start hitting those valleys, man, you're gonna find yourself out there bad. You're gonna be in a messed up position. I survived because I always knew it ain't me. You know, it's the music, you know? And I just know how people are. Let me tell you how cold people are, fam. When you got that record out, you got that hot song on the radio, that hot video, people running, breaking their neck to give you some death try to get a picture, get an autograph, get something. Everybody pulling at you from all angles. But when that's not happening, boy, they try to avoid you like the plague. They really act like you did something wrong. <laughs> I mean, and I get it because everybody want to be around somebody successful. People feel like if they're around a winner, it makes them look like a winner. And if they're around a loser or somebody who's not winning, they think it makes them look like a loser. It's crazy. So I understand it and I don't take it personal. I just look at it fam like it's gonna be some ups, it's gonna be some downs and I stay centered. I don't go too far to the left. I don't go too far to the right. I don't get too down on myself when things are not going well. I don't get too up on myself when things are going well. Right now, Diddy's friendships across the board are being tested. His relationships with his family, his extended family, not just his children, but his cousins and uncles and aunts and all of these people 
are being tested right now. And I can tell you right now, when the feds come in, boy, they be running, man. They ain't trying to be around that at all. Diddy and Ashton go way back. If you Google their names, you'll see probably a hundred different pictures where they have different clothes on and at a different location. They go way back. So you know Ashton has been to those parties and you know he got some information that the feds want. I remember when the white parties was the talk of the town. We're just not hearing about this so-called freak-off thing, but the white parties was the talk. I guess the white parties was the freak-off. You had the white party, and then you had the dark party that happened later on that night. That was the freak-off part of it, I guess. But I remember when those parties were the most legendary events in all of entertainment. Nobody did it better. Nobody put on a bigger party. Nobody had a more diverse group of people from all walks of life and all entertainment sectors than Diddy. Everybody wanted to go to the white party. I'm glad I didn't. No more talk.